Oh, all this time I thought I was recording, I got a new phone. <laughs> so sometimes when you have lupus, you know, if you can't eat your stomach, it gets messed up. You know, yeah, I guess if you don't have lupus, if you can't eat your stomach, it gets messed up. You know, I didn't eat for two days. I had no appetite at all. So you know what I have to do to get an appetite. But I won't say it just in case there's young people listening. But if you're old enough, you know what I have to do to get an appetite. All right. Um, and I wouldn't take the pills that make you have an appetite because they're pills. They're made in a lab. I don't want anything from the lab with my lupus. But all I need is natural. This is salmon. Salmon is very good for you when you have lupus. Okay. Very, very, very good for you. So, I couldn't eat for a couple of days because I had no appetite. Because, you know, when your white blood cells eat your red blood cells, it takes your appetite away. Okay. So, I came home. I ate a small piece of this. That's why you can see it's open. I ate about, there was about that much, uh, uh, two inch piece. I ate it. I cooked it in this pan. And I ate it. Small little pan. And I put a little bit of liver. And uh, this is my liver. And now I just noticed the word. It says calf. That means a baby cow. Oh, that makes me sad. But at the moment, I was very, very ill. As you can see, this is a whole pack. I only took little pieces of it. This it's frozen and I couldn't really get any of it. But I, I apologize, baby calf, but yeah, no wonder it was so good. It was, it was very tender and it was kind of sweet. <laughs> uh, it was very easy to chew. Okay. So when I ate that, it put me to sleep very quickly and you do know if you go to sleep after eating it's all not always because you ate because that was a small amount and you know my stomach and my tongue really liked it because when I was eating that I'm trying to eat some takeout yesterday my my mouth didn't want it my mouth couldn't mm -mm. you know my mouth didn't want that <laughs> so basically um, I have this chicken it's a small little chicken. And I'm going to cut off as much as I can because, of course, you know, if you have lupus in your white blood cells, it's your red blood cells. Not only does it take your appetite, but it also makes it hard to use your hands and whatever because um, it causes rheumatoid. Um, and rheumatoid is um, a disease of the bone. Um, it hurts a lot. It's the worst arthritis you could ever want to even think about, never mind having. So I'm going to cut off pieces of this chicken. I'm going to take um, the legs and um, some of the back side. I don't eat back, but I'm going to take it off a little bit and clean it and put it in this pot hole. I'm not going to chop it up. My hands won't do that. Um, so I'm going to use some of this French onions first and this celery. I'm going to put in this pan with a small amount of oil. I'm going to start like this. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to start this pan. It's all scraped up, but it's so fun. I'm going to start with this amount of oil. And now I'm gonna just do enough. It's just a light. Um, it's good. I'll be glad when I can get off all that stuff and come from mixing stuff in this pot and, uh, instead of a mixing bowl. And scrape the pot up real bad. But either way, so in this pot, I just covered the bottom with oil. And as you can see, there's not a lot of oil. You see? Not a lot, it's just enough. See? So, I'm gonna turn that on low. Right now, I'm gonna just put it on. Uh, I'm gonna 
start on four. And while I chop this stuff just a little bit, like I'm just going to use this a little bit right here, a little bit, like two, two celeries, maybe three, because I really want it to taste like real good soup. So I'm going to put them in here and saute them a little bit. And uh, so also I have... Oh, I have these. Now these don't cost a lot. So I'm going to put this seasoning from this soup in the pot. And this one. I should have two of these, but I don't. But either way, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use some, some Laurie, Laurie's um, seasoning salt. And a couple of other secret ingredients of my own. You can use what you want. But right now, I'm going to chop up some of this stuff on this plate, put it in there and let it saute. 